for a bodybuilder, this is very rare, but he has no weak poses. What's up, guys? I'm Noel Kim. You are watching Fazza Fitness. Let's start this video with good video. One of the most anticipated pro debuts is about to happen in four weeks' time at this year's Arn Flossic South America, or also known as Arnold Brazil. And that too against one of the most competitive lineup out there. So the question is, will he live up to the expectations? And the thing is, if you are expecting him to win at his pro debut, that I have to say will be regarded as delusional. Because not only is he going up against guys like Carlos Thomas Jr., but also a guy like Rafael Brandao, who just plays top three in Ohio. And he got the biggest compliments from Tyler Mannion. Because we wanted to see how close he truly is to that next level, that upper tier of bodybuilders. And I would say that he's definitely pretty close. Right now, you can see the difference in size and density, you know, when he was standing next to Samson. And of course, that goes for, you know, he's going to be standing next to other guys that are bigger. But he really held his own. Not only he just said that Rafael is much more closer to Samson Daldo now compared to what he was at the Olympia 2022. But he also mentioned that Rafael doesn't have one weak shot. And that is very, very rare to see in bodybuilding, especially in open bodybuilding, that a guy has everything, no weak shots, no weak body parts. Because this can't even be said about the reigning Mr. Olympia Derek Lensford, because some of his poses, like the front lash spread or abs and thigh, they are not ideal by any means. For a bodybuilder, this is very rare, but he has no weak poses. There's not one pose that stands out that he does that you say, yeah, you know what? He's probably got to say he's going to lose that pose to somebody. Every pose is extremely strong, which is, it just doesn't happen. So I believe Rafael is going to bring an even better package at this year's Arnold Brazil and secure his ticket to the Olympia. And the feedback that was given to him by the judges that he needs more density in his side leg or more fullness in his chest. If he's able to do that, he is legit going to be a Mr. Olympia title contender in a couple of years. A little bit more fullness to the chest, a little bit more density to the back. Bringing these things up all in proportion with each other is going to make him a very, very big contender in the next couple of years. So coming back to good veto, he has some of the craziest legs in the IB Pro League right now. He did all the mandatories on his recent YouTube video. But the thing is, it is taken at such a distance and at such an angle that you just cannot judge at this point, especially the extent of his improvements in his back shots. Because that has been the biggest knock on his physique so far. He is very lacking in his back development compared to his front. And we have to admit this fact. Even after this whole offseason, even after that time that he took off, good Vito is still not even close to being as good from the back as he is from the front. And that, I have to say, is going to be the deciding factor on where he places at his pro debut. So Carlos Thomas Jr. can really be the X factor here. He is currently training in Brazil, and he posted this picture on his story a few days ago, looking so round and so freaky at the same time. So that video of him posing was published by Mr. Olympia official page, mentioning that he is 50 days out. So either Carlos is doing the Arnold Brazil or the Tried Pro. So Carlos Thomas Jr. is the real deal. We saw him against the likes of Andrew Jack and Hunter Lebrada last year at Texas Pro. He wasn't as shredded as either of those guys, but you just cannot deny the sheer mass and the structure and the proportions that this guy has. From the front, he is so damn complete and so damn freaky at the same time. We rarely come across this kind of bodybuilder who is short in height and who is packed with tons of muscle on top of muscles, but he has great aesthetics as well. As far as his back double bicep is concerned, I don't think there will be any drastic improvements in that shot, which is his weakest point, because that is most likely a genetic thing. But then again, I can be wrong, maybe he can shock us all. But the point I'm trying to make is that even if he comes in a little bit better, a little bit more denser from the back, and if he brings overall sharper condition compared to what we saw at his last show, he can definitely be in the final call out with Rafael. And I'm gonna go as far as saying this if he brings that conditioning, he is going to give Rafael Brandao a very serious run for his money here. With Samson Daula and Milos Arsef parting ways, Barros Tabani is the next big guy that Milos is going to coach. Now, as great as Barros is, and he has proved himself for two years now by qualifying for Mr. Olympia, his visa issues are yet to be solved, and this is the latest word from Milos Arsef himself regarding that process. 
So Bahroz is looking insanely big right now. Not only is he weighing in the 20s, he's holding a great body composition at the same time. And that condition for that weight looks absolutely stunning. So the last show that he did was Romania Pro 2023, where he got the opportunity to get compared with the likes of Samson Baoba. While Samson had him in the overall size, there is no doubt about that. But Bahroz was overall in a much better condition. And I think there was a consensus on that. So the White Pro is coming up in July. And that is going to be the show that is most suited for Bahroz Tabani. He had a pretty good break after his last show. A very productive offseason. So we expect to see a much better Bahroz than ever he steps on stage in 2024. So that being said, Milos is kind of in a tricky spot right now. The biggest name that he had at the Olympia was Samson Dauda. And Samson walked away from him. And a miracle needs to happen in order for Bahroz to get into the US. A miracle that we are all hoping is going to happen. Because Bahroz has been qualified for the Olympia in the last two years. So let's just hope that he gets to the US and gets a chance to compete with the best of the best. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.